The accounts of Jane's early childhood are kind of hazy, however. It is known that her mother died when she was an infant, and her father turned insane after his wife's death, which in turn made his daughter's lives hellish. Jane also had three sisters. Her lack of love from her father, as well as the depression from getting left at the altar by a man she fell in love with her senior year of high school, led her to believe she was not worthy of love from a man and explained some of Jane's weird sex sexual behaviors later in her life. She finished high school and began training and working as a nurse in 1885 at Cambridge Hospital. She also almost got married to someone she met in her senior year of high school, but was left at the altar, which is majorly what started her unusual, weird, and creepy actions. In the early stages of her criminal activities, she would overdose her patients by giving them way too much morphine and then laying in bed beside them. Jane said that she got a sexual satisfaction laying in bed with men who were about to die, which is just creepy. Later on, she killed her first two victims, her landlord and his wife, by poisoning them. She killed all of her victims by poisoning them. In the span of 15 years, Topin killed over 30 people. Jane's history of suicide attempts helped her win the insanity plea. She was found not guilty by reason of insanity. After Alden Davis and his family were killed, the surviving members ordered an autopsy that discovered that Davis was poisoned. The local authorities put a police detail on Jane, and she was arrested on October 29, 1901. Jane did not take souvenirs or leave a signature whenever she would leave the crime scene. Actually, she was very hard to find and almost was never caught. She died in a state mental hospital on August 17th in 1938. Jane Topin is an organized killer because since she used poison, it was very discreet and never usually left any trace behind. It was also very hard to catch Jane, therefore she was an organized killer. Jane Topin was hedonistic because she obtained a sense of thrill and pleasure from killing people. Jane has stated that she got an erotic charge from holding and caressing people's dying bodies. They killed because they enjoyed feeling a sense of power and thrill when, that she got whenever she killed someone. She has also stated herself that she liked caressing and laying with people as they were dying.